In part three of the Newman projection series, I will show you how to draw a Newman projection from a substituted propane. And what I want to focus on is going from a three-dimensional Sawhorse projection where not all the atoms are shown. We'll start with our molecule, propane. The molecule has two chlorines on carbon number one and one bromine group on carbon number two. There are also hydrogens on this molecule which are not shown. To draw a Newman projection, I need to know which atoms are in the front and which atoms are in the back so that I can show them on my Newman diagram. So the first thing I will do is add in my invisible hydrogens. If I'm going to be looking from carbon 1 to carbon 2, then I will only add hydrogens to 1 and 2. For carbon 1, given that I have a chlorine up in the plane, and a chlorine down and towards the back, I will show my hydrogen as down but coming out of the page. For carbon number 2, because I have a methyl down in the plane and a bromine up out of the plane, I will show my hydrogen going back but up. Converting this to a Newman projection, I will start with my circle that is between carbon number 1 and carbon number 2. For the forward carbon, I have one chlorine in the up position, so I simply draw a line up with chlorine. Imagine that you are taking this sideways molecule and grabbing the front carbon, moving it slightly towards the left. The hydrogen, which is in the front, will move from the front to the left, and that means I have a hydrogen in the down left position. The chlorine as the molecule rotates, will come forward but to the right. So I put my chlorine in the down right position. Going to the rear carbon, I have a methyl or CH3 group for this carbon in the down position. And then I have the bromine and hydrogen in the up position. When the front carbon comes towards the left, the rear carbon will go slightly towards the right but the hydrogen and bromine will then be next to each other. Since bromine is forward, as you turn the molecule, it will go slightly towards the left. So I put bromine in the up left on my Newman projection. And hydrogen will go a little more to the right, but still in the back, giving me an upright hydrogen. And here I have a Newman projection for this molecule. If I analyze the energies I see here, I have a chlorine close to a methyl group, and this is a Gauche interaction. I also have a chlorine close to a bromine for another Gauche interaction. I can then rotate this molecule 60 degrees at a time, going from what we have here, which is staggered, to eclipsed. The way you analyze the energy is by comparing the groups that are next to each other and determining how the size and the bulk affect each other. So if I have a chlorine, which is a rather large atom, next to a methyl group, which is actually four atoms, these are two large groups next to each other. Looking over here, if I have a chlorine next to a hydrogen, hydrogen is rather small, so the energy is not going to be as high because this interaction is a lot more favorable. I won't go through all the rotations for this molecule, since I have them on my last two videos, but I do want to compare the eclipsed and staggered, so let's rotate this thing 60 degrees. I will keep the front carbon as it is. Given that I rotated the rear carbon clockwise 60 degrees, I get a hydrogen behind the chlorine, I get a methyl group behind the hydrogen, and then I get a bromine behind the chlorine. This is an eclipsed and unfavorable conformation. But it's not the worst conformation we can see. The interactions we have are a hydrogen eclipsing a chlorine, which is not very stable, but it's not the worst. And I have a methyl eclipsing a hydrogen. The worst interactions here are chlorine and bromine, two large atoms eclipsing each other. However, if I rotate this molecule 120 degrees, this means I'm jumping from the eclipsed 60 degrees to staggered, and then another 60 degrees to the other eclipse conformation. I will now have a methyl group eclipsing a chlorine, 
bromine eclipsing my methyl group and hydrogen eclipsing my hydrogen. Now this is the worst eclipse confirmation that you can get for this propane molecule. And that's because on the top I have chlorine eclipsing my methyl group, which is the largest substituent here. And then I have bromine and chlorine eclipsing each other, and these are the two other large groups. Hydrogen eclipsing hydrogen is not unstable, but overall this molecule is a lot worse than my last one, where I had methyl eclipsing a hydrogen and hydrogen eclipsed by chlorine. For practice, I do recommend that you go through every single staggered and eclipse confirmation to determine where you have your high energies and where you have your low energies. For the final example, we'll draw the Newman projection for 3S, 4S, 4-chloro-2,3-dimethylhexane. Do you have any additional organic chemistry questions? Then how about joining my weekly organic chemistry review sessions live, online, and from the comfort of your home. For more information, visit leahforsci.com forward slash organic chemistry.